This is the Cannondale Topstone 3L. It retails for $3,300 and some odd dollars. And this version of the Topstone has the built-in integrated light, the SmartSense battery pack here, that's all linked up here, powers both of these things. And supposedly, because it has that radar, it can kind of tell when you're close to it and it'll adjust the light sequences depending on whatever setting that you have on the Canada app. Now, a little bit of a disappointment with this. I just ordered this in August, 2023. And I understand during the pandemic, they had to replace some components, but a lot of the components have actually been changed. I was supposed to get GRX 600 series brakes and rotors and instead these are 400 series so it's not an upgrade from the intense 951 gravel series that I was hoping to upgrade from. They gave me different wheels these are Maxxis Ramblers 40 C's 700 40 and I guess these are comparable right the ones that were supposed to come with were 45 millimeters Pedals are not included. The crankcase down here is actually an FSA Gossamer Pro. And while the gear range is identical, it is definitely not the GRX series. And if the crank would have been, the, I believe the GRX 600 series or something comparable. At least for the drivetrain, it's the same. I believe it's the 800 series and it is it is really nice i don't notice too big of a difference between the six and the eight so far it could be a bit of a weight saving i'm not sure the pedals are actually the look vibram ones these are the visions and they're visions because they have the built-in lights which is nice of course the, sus the suspension system is what's the main deal with this bike actually so it gives me up to about 30 millimeters oh 10 millimeters of a bit of a travel so it helps smooth out some of the bumps that's really nice I like the fact that there are actually areas here to mount stuff at the top of the tube, which is a little bit different. I'm a little bit disappointed with the grip. I just got it home and it's already coming off. So I'm not sure about that, but the lights are really nice. I like that they're integrated. Uh, it's, it's actually really nice, bright. And with the automatic settings, I guess I don't have to really worry about it other than charging that single battery pack down below. So that's something I appreciate. The color, the paint's okay. When I got it from them, though there's a little bit of a scratch that you can't actually see here so I guess um, in the dark you can't see it but during the brightness I could see it and this is the extra small version what's strange is that the small should have been fitting me just fine but if I hadn't actually tested this in the shop I would have found out that this tube here actually doesn't go all the way down because you have this stuff in the way as you can see the top tube can only go down here so the extra small was the best fit for me in my case even though typically i'd get a medium uh, or a small i'm in, in between a medium and a small so in this case the extra small worked out best for me because this top tube can only go down here because the rest of this is for the whole suspension system over here which i forget the name of it is but overall first ride it feels a little bit slower but probably because the wheels are a little bit slower for the road. So I might switch those out. And um, that's the only thing that really came up to mind. It di I did feel like there's a little bit of a difference in the comfort with the 10 millimeters of travel, but I haven't taken on gravel, too much of the gravel yet. I just tried it here on the grass in this local park. And I did, I, I feel like I did notice something, could be just mental, but obviously this does work and it is in a, a few of their other bikes as well uh, obviously all the top stone series so overall uh, i guess i'm gonna have to test it a little bit more to see i just feel like the fit is just a little bit better for me whereas on a medium with the intense 951 series it was a little bit too large just a little bit so this gives me a little bit of room here supposedly i could add a dropper seat post on this but I don't know how exactly that's going to work out. That's something I'll probably have to talk to REI to help me figure this stuff like that out. But component wise, other than that, it's all very similar uh, to the Intense 951, which I am also testing. And this, this definitely feels like one of the 
uh, best bikes I've ever ridden. So that just goes to show <laughs> how low of my expectations are. And obviously this is easily one of the most expensive bikes I've ever purchased uh, in my life. All right, well, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions or thoughts about it. The overall, it's kind of what I expected, which is a, a slight bit of an upgrade from the Intense 951 uh, gravel bike.